Okay, so to start lung recruitment, so you go to procedures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then cycling. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, is there anything you want to change? Is this okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so start cycling. Okay, so, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay. Then we take another blood pressure. So then, so procedure two. Okay, yeah. So do you want 2020 or 2015? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, blood pressure 103. Okay, that's normal. It's going to drop. Okay, because um, yeah, because uh, the heart is being squeezed by the lungs, so the uh, cardiac output is uh, supposed to drop. Okay. So if you notice, the compliance is low. Okay, uh, that's because the PEEP is high, and the pressure you're giving is high. So then afterwards you go to procedure three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then start. Yeah. So twenty-five. Okay. And if you look at the bellows, okay, it's not dropping, so it's okay. No need, no need to increase the flow. Okay, So 1242, okay, it's, it's still increasing. Yeah, mm-hmm, because so. Yeah. 
Okay, so 846, so it's still increasing. Okay, so six, it's starting to drop. So, so at uh, six, okay, uh, the compliance is fifty three, right? So, um, but it's still increasing, right? So it's still increasing. So we go down. Then let's see. So now it's dropping. So we know the correct peep is six. So you increase by one to two. So that's going to give you a peep of around eight. Okay. Okay. So there's still the yeah, driving pressure. Right? So driving pressure. Okay. So you need to put in an inspiratory pause. Okay, so um Okay. So 17 minus 8, okay, 15 minus 8, okay, that's 7, okay, so it's below 13, so that means it's a lung protective ventilation, okay, then you look at the uh, entitled CO2, yeah, thirty two, thirty four. so if that's low, you can still decrease, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, and uh, this one, okay, tidal volume, you can also decrease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at the trends, yeah. okay. so there's an improvement okay, from 37, okay, the baseline, uh, and now it's 50. So there's improvement in the patient's uh, lung. No, no. So for vital capacity, you need to do it because um, around after one hour, the patient's lungs start to collapse again yeah. because you have not given the correct peep. Yeah. Okay. For cycling, since you found the correct peep, the peep keeps the lungs open, so you don't need to repeat the recruitment. Okay. 
giờ này ở cái bước thứ ba này nè nếu mà đối với bệnh nhân mà huyết áp quá cao cái chuyện mà ông này hồi nãy á, thì mình có thể giảm cái freeze này xuống khoảng hoặc khoảng còn sorry xuống khoảng ba nhịp thôi thì tại vì mỗi một cái bước tiếp theo này nó mình xuống mình nó cho ở sáu nhịp để nó biết được cái cầm tay ở mà đối với bệnh nhân huyết áp cao quá thì mình cho thở khoảng ba nhịp thôi tại vì các cái biết này nó là nó đã cao rồi So, if the patient also does not have um, risk factors for developing uh, PPC, uh, lung problems afterwards, so another thing I can do is um, here, I, uh, actually here, okay, I can decrease, I can uh, probably mm -hmm, yeah, give inspired pressure of 15 only. So 15 and 20. So if the patient does not have any risk factors, so maybe young patient, then a short surgery, not emergency. Yeah. This one, instead of targeting 40, I will target probably just around 35. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If it's a child, uh, the maximum you can target is 30. So that's 15 and 15. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If it's a child. Yeah. Because and um, when you go to the titration for children, I'll probably start less than 12. Less than 12. So 12, then 10, then 8. Because uh, small children usually they do not need high PIP. So there's no use uh, putting in 12 because you will not give it to the patient anyway.